I'm Louise Harris and I'm the Children and Young People's Trainer at Suffolk Mind and today I'm reading you Sammy the Sea Squirt which is Suffolk Mind's first storybook. It's been written by Ezra Hewing and it's illustrated by Emma Graham. So this is a story all about Sammy. Now under the waves where sunlight is blue, Sammy the Sea Squirt is born with a tube. Sea Squirts have a brain on top of their tube that tells them to squirt and that's how they move. Swoosh! I must move my brain to travel the sea and search for a home for sea squirts like me. Who's this I can see? Who's coming? I'm Caleb the crab. Crabs move back and forth as free as can be to scuttle on shore and under the sea. My brain it can choose to slow down or rush but if I don't move, my brain turns to mush. Here's Sammy. Goodbye for now, crab. I must swim the sea and search for a home for sea squirts like me. What will I find next? Swish. I'm Opal the octopus. An octopus too, as quick as you blink, can squirt and then hide in clouds of blue ink. My brain, it can choose to dream and to think, but if I don't move, my brain will just shrink. Then I'll use my brain to travel the sea and search for a home for sea squirts like me. What will I find next? Swish. I'm Zara the zebrafish. My black and white stripes look just like a zebra. My brain is a map and helps me remember. The places I've been to and those I've not yet, if I didn't move, I'd surely forget. Then I'll use my brain to travel the sea and search for a home for sea squirts like me. What will I find next? Swish! I'm Saul the seahorse. If I'm feeling sad, my tail gets tight, but then when I swim, I'm happy and light. My brain moves my tail to grip or to stand, but if I don't move, my brain turns to sand. Then I'll use my brain to travel the sea and search for a home for sea squirts like me. What will I find next? Swish. Sea squirts. Look, these are all sea squirts as well, but they look very different to this one. Can you see Sammy with their brain on their head? They're sea squirts, it's true, but something is strange. When they find a home, it makes them all change. The top of their tube is not quite the same. When sea squirts don't move, they swallow their brain. Ugh. Oh no! Eek! Yuck! I've only one brain I don't want to lose. If I lose my brain, then how will I move? So I'll use my brain to travel the sea. The ocean's the home for sea squirts like me. Swoosh, what will I find next? Now Sammy moves to help their brain to keep them feeling good and to keep them feeling in well-being. And you can move too to help your mental health. So have a little look at the story of Sammy the Sea Squirt, which you can get on our website or you can get it from the library and see if you can move to help your mental health too. See you soon. Bye.